Hey everybody, this is Daryl, aka The D from the Simply Incredible Podcast. And today uh, I'm going over my kind of my top comics from 2018. I wasn't gonna do like a top 10, I was like, yeah, I got a whole bunch of stuff. So um, 2018 was so much better than I really anticipated being. I made a top 10 list. I think I knocked out uh, about half of them. Uh, it's either five or six out of the 10. I'm not sure I'm going to do one for uh, 2019 because uh, for the first about three and a half to four months of the year, I won't be working until I get my hip done. I've told you about that a thousand times. Y'all don't want to know that. Y'all don't want to know that. But uh, first off, I'm going to go through my non-graded books and then uh, my graded books. So let's start with these two. Uh, some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. You guys know I love some turtles. And I, I got these two online extremely cheap. I was shocked no one was bidding on these. It just looks like just regular books. But if you look closer, both of them are signed by Kevin Eastman. Uh, and, I was, I was, and when I bid on them, it, just the way they were done, the, the way they were worded, you didn't know that they were actually uh, autographed. Until you actually read the description of it. And I was like, those are autographed and no one's bidding on them. They don't know. So I got lucky and picked up both of those. Got them out of steel. Very, very pleased about that. Next, uh, this is a cheap book, really. Um, I, I, I just see a lot of growth in this one, but who knows. Uh, it's the first appearance of Bebop and Rocksteady. I found a whole bunch of these in dollar bins. So I was like, yeah, I'll grab a few of those. Uh, some are in really, really good shape and others, and eh, not so much. But I was like, dollar bin finds, that was a good deal. Um, first Bebop and Rocksteady. Uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventures number one. There's also a, a variant cover of this one as well, I believe, in that three-part miniseries. Uh, next... See, uh, I'll tell you the grade on this one, eh, about a six, but it's it's very pressable. Uh, Omega Man number 10, number 10, right? Yeah, no, number three. Number three, first appearance of Lobo. I don't know why I was thinking 10. Uh, first appearance of Lobo. Uh, it's one of these books I was looking for, and I found, again, got a good deal on it, so I went ahead and snatched that up. So, yeah, first Lobo. Again, this is one, could be pressed, uh, and get it graded. Could be a, a solid grade on it. You know, it, it, I would say it's got potential, not saying it would get there, but potential 7.5 to 8, uh, summer night ballpark. Because I'm looking at it now, and I'm saying uh, 6. But I, I think it's definitely got potential there. Next, a little ASM, number 194. First appearance of Black Cat. This is one that's going to CGC before too long. Yeah, this one, um, it came out of uh, one of my friends. It came out of their uh, private collection. And he's a dealer, actually. And I was like, yeah, I'll definitely take that. Definitely a very high grade on that. And if Black Cat shows up in a movie somewhere along the way, this thing would probably just skyrocket. So, yeah, pretty happy about that one right there. This one, not quite as happy about. <laughs> uh, this is Fantastic Four, number 36, uh, The Attack of the Evil, The Frightful Four. First appearance of Medusa. Why am I not happy about this? I I'm excited to own this book. The grade I was told was um, about a 5. He said, well, you're between 4.5 to 5.5, probably closer to that uh, 5 to 5.5. Um, if, you know, my guess, uh, you know, 3 uh, with some work, maybe 3.5. I don't see getting uh, anywhere near that, uh, getting it pressed and everything. And they said it's going to be that before anything's done to it, you know, getting pressed, cleaned or anything. So I was like, yeah. I, even though I still think I got it at a fair price, 
it would have been a fair price if it was the grade that it was stated. You know, one of those type of things. But still, first appearance of Medusa. Love the character, so I'm still happy to have it, you know. This is one that, again, another one of those that I love. Just love this cover. Uh, Batman, uh, yeah, Batman. I was going to say Catwoman, number one, but no, it's a Batman number 50 variant. It is um, from uh, a Selfish.com. S-S-A-L-E-F-I-S-H. Yeah. And... Let's see. I think this one was only a thousand made, I believe. And I just love this cover. It is it is a beautiful, beautiful cover. I actually don't know who did the cover though. I'm not sure who did this cover, but it is a stunningly awesome cover. So I was like, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I'll get that one. Actually, this one might be the 1500. Yeah, I think this is 1500 of this one that was made. But awesome, awesome cover. Next, actually, this year I actually found two of this one, which was very happy. Uh, Daredevil number 181, Death of Elektra. Uh, I, I must confess, I've not read this run, uh, Frank Miller run from Daredevil. And this is one I've got to start. I don't know why I keep putting this one off. Everyone that's read this says, dude, it is one of the best runs, not just in Daredevil, but in comics. Maybe not number one in all the comics, but he, they're like, dude, this is a definite uh, top run from comics in this Frank Miller run. I don't know what I'm what I'm waiting for. But the art on it, first off, I like. <laughs> and then, you know, a key issue like that. So I'm very happy I got to pick that one up this year. Uh, next, I'll say that just about every book here. I'm glad I got to pick that one up this year. Next, Iron Man number 128. The condition is not, um, not a 9.8 by any stretch. Eh, this might be got a little ding right there. It's actually pretty solid. Um, maybe as high as an 8 on here, maybe. But this is the Drunk Tony issue. So, I would, yeah. Demon in a Bottle. So, very happy to get this one. I saw this one. I was like, gosh, I got to pick that up. It's one of those keys that, you know, you kind of can't pass on it. Especially when you find it at a, at a decent price. So, very happy to get that Demon in a Bottle issue. And next is Fantastic Four Annual Number 3. The Wedding of Sue and Reed. This is one of those issues that I looked so many stores, so many shows before I found one, a good high grade, and I'm so happy to have this one. Um, the spine on it's really, really good. Uh, at some point, I'm going to see if I can get this one uh, pressed and graded. It's, uh, and I love the panel in it with uh, Jack Kirby and Stan Lee trying to get into the wedding, and they turn them away. And I thought that was hilarious. They're like, and they're like, we'll get them in the war room, <laughs> which I thought was hilarious. There, that is awesome. So, yeah, yeah, very happy, very very happy. Next is um, the Walking Dead number ten, uh, first appearances of Maggie Herschel and many many more from the farm. So, and this one right here, I'm pretty sure this one was never opened. This is a beautiful, beautiful copy. Uh, kind of sad that Maggie is, might be away for a while. I don't know if she's going to even come back to the show. Um, uh, Lauren Cohen, who plays Maggie. I'm hoping she does because I love the character. I mean, it's, I was thinking about it. Um, how many characters from the first season are still on there and I believe Daryl's the only one that is left uh, unless, unless Maggie does come back and I'm not sure she will or not so I think maybe the first two seasons I think Daryl may be the only character left which is really interesting and sad at the same time next is All-Star Comics number 58 also known as the first appearance of Power Girl this is one that was on my list of top 10. I was like, I'm probably not going to be able to find that one. Uh, good high grade, good price on it. 
so happy when I found this one. Good high grade and a good fair price. So really, really happy to find this one. First appearance of Power Girl featuring the Justice Society of America. There we go. Nice. Nice. This one I'm going to wait just a smidge longer on. Uh, this one right here, uh, most of you guys know this, was the number one on my list for 2018 to get. Superman versus Muhammad Ali. And I think I got it second or third week of, in January. So right at the beginning of the month, I, I picked it up right off the bat. I was shocked. Uh, a guy had it on his table and he had a price on. I was like, uh, I can't go that high. But I'll tell you what, it, it makes me sad because um, CGC, um, CBCS, no one grades uh, the Treasury Editions. But this one right here is a very, very high grade. I suspect I could probably get at least an 8 out of this. Uh, maybe higher. That one is that good. It is in that good a condition. And you just don't find Treasury Editions in that kind of shape. Plus, it's in Mylar. <laughs> Sorry, I blinded you there. <laughs> but it's also in Mylar, so it's tough to find those books like that in that kind of condition. Set you right there. Don't go anywhere. Um, let's see. Let me find this book that will go with this book. Set you right there. Because uh, next is going to start with, there it is. There it is. The rest of these will be my graded books. All right. Uh, last one, not graded, but it goes with a graded book. Uh, Marvel Team Up, Spider-Man and Daredevil, number 141. Start off with the black suit, the symbiote suit, which goes with this one. ASM 252. Yes, 252. Yay, my memory's good. For a few minutes anyway. And I got I picked both of these up at the same time. And I was originally not going to get this one. And I thought, you know, I do want this one. Because they, they really go together. So at some point, this is one I may get graded on. It's got a little ding on it right there. Um, this might be in the 7.5-ish range. I uh, could get a little work, maybe, maybe make it to 8.5, eh, maybe not quite that high. All right, that's all of the non-graded, and we're starting the, the graded issues that I have. Let me move these right here, so I will have a place for my graded books. Uh, this year, I really tried to hit a little bit more on my Walking Dead collection. And I saw this one, I was like, gosh, I got to pick that up. Uh, the Walking Dead, number two, it is a 9.2, signed by uh, Robert Kirkman and Tony Moore. So, very happy to get this one. Uh, first appearance of uh, Carl, um, Lori, I can't think of Lori's name. And one of my favorites, Glenn. And also signed by the, the two. I was like, ah, oh, yeah, yeah, definitely going to pick that up. Uh, 9.2, that's not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. Uh, next, um, this is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 30th Anniversary. And it is signed by Eastman. And it is a 9.8. I, and it was, I was really happy this year. I got to meet uh, Kevin Eastman. I was so excited about that. And he signed uh, my book. For those who don't know, when I went to San Diego and when I went to Heroes Con this year, I got a whole bunch of artists to sign my to sign a blank cover, which I meant to actually bring that in here because that was one, uh, some of my pride and joys for this year. And then I forgot to bring it in here. That's all right. Next, another pickup from one of my friends. He hooked me up on this one for an amazing price. It is Edge of Spider-Verse, 
number two, first appearance of Spider Gwen. Uh, 9.6. Very, very nice. To be honest with you, when I got it, I honestly thought it was going to be a 9.8. Um, there is not much wrong with this book right here. I don't know really what they could have seen in it, but yeah, hey, they know better than me. Very, very happy to get this at a great price. And I, I kid you not, I picked it up in like the next month or so, the price of it almost doubled. I don't know what happened to make it just really skyrocket so fast. And since I've actually gotten it, I think the price has almost tripled, which is like, wow, that's crazy. Uh, then this one, uh, I got the raw copy and I sent it in to get it graded. It is Spawn the Thanks Edition. Come back a 9.8. That's pretty awesome. Gotta love that back cover as well. That is awesome. <laughs> I was like, wait, are they facing the same direction? Yeah, they're facing the same direction. <laughs> so I was like, yeah, pretty happy about that one as well. Oh, wow. I'm going to put that one toward the end too because there's three books in here that I'm over the moon that I got. This one is one I got by accident. Uh, there's an auction site that I, I was trying to find one book. And I was going to hit bid on it. And it just ended and it started the next auction, which was this. And I ended up winning this, which is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, Back to the Future, number, what number here? Number one, uh, is this a variant? Uh, artist edition, signed by Leah Thompson, Michael J. Fox, Christopher Lloyd. Let's go to the back now. Um... Thomas Wilson. Was there somebody else that signed it? I thought it was more than that. One, two, three, four signatures. One, two. Yep, four signatures. I was thinking there's one more in there. So you got pretty much the whole crew. Yeah, that main crew from the movie, Back to the Future. One of my favorite movies when I was younger, and I still love to watch it every once in a while. So it was really a happy accident. That I ended up winning this book. So that's not too shabby. Next. A bunch of these books actually come from one of my friends. Um, and. Thanks Ricky. <laughs> this one also. Actually the next two were on my top list. It is. Um, de uh, Detective Comics. Not Detective Comics. Uh, DC Comics Presents. Number 46, 26, 26. First appearance of the Teen Titans. Also known as the first appearance of a, a Cyborg, Raven, and Starfire. I do want to get the first appearance of Beast Boy. Uh, it is Doom Patrol, I want to say 99. I think that's Doom Patrol issue 99, I think. I think. But that is expensive. I was very happy to get this one and come back a 9.4. That's pretty solid on a, a book of, from what year? 1980. 1980. So is that copper? Copper? I think it's copper. Yeah, I think so. Before the silver and bronze, I think it's copper. <laughs> Next is, again, another one of those issues on my top list for this year. It is Catwoman number 51, the Lost Variant. I was looking at something because I, I think I saw a cosplay variant of this the other day. And now that I'm looking at it, I'm like, I don't think that was a cosplay variant. I think, I think it was this Adam Hughes cover. I don't know. I don't know. Seeking Near Mint Comics, tell me. Was that a cosplayer uh, that you showed on Instagram or was that this actual cover? Because now that I'm looking, I'm thinking, wait, was that the same one? I don't know. I don't know. Definitely probably my favorite Adam Hughes cover. It is absolutely gorgeous. And why they call it The Lost, uh, if you watch the TV show Lost, 
this is the number that was uh yeah right there they kept repeating in the in the room the the hatch room so that's why they call it the lost edition because i didn't know for the longest time so i think that's pretty awesome and my last three and again these are really in no particular order but yeah <laughs> uh next i finally got to meet uh stan sakai stan sakai sakai in uh san diego and i didn't know he was doing any uh commissions or anything i just thought he was signing so i got to talking to uh he was actually away and i was talking to i think it was his family and they were like yeah he's doing commissions and so i went ahead and got one creator of yasagi yojimbo because when i heard he was i immediately went over to the uh, idw booth because i saw the blank variant unfortunately they didn't have a yasagi blank variant so i got the teenage mutant ninja turtles universe and that come out really really awesome and one thing i also love about this as you can see we got a turtle over here is that the right place yeah <laughs> got a turtle right there I was actually looking at these rocks to see if they were also turtles there, but no, just the one. <laughs> and when he signed um, my book, my blank variant, he also put a little, uh, he actually put a turtle there beside instead of Usagi, which I thought was interesting. So I got a quick little sketch of it there. I thought that's pretty cool. So this one right here was really, really awesome. And I'll tell you what, he was nice as can be. And to me, being a big fan, it, it was confusing that no one else was around him and talking to him. I was like, man, that's really weird. But And when he was signing at the, um, gosh, was it, ID, it was either IDW or Image booth. I think it was the IDW booth. And no one was coming up. I was like, really? Because there were some people there. I mean, they had lines just going out the, uh, out of the whole booth. And they got a big booth there. You know, kind of go through lines, a little maze to meet the uh, artists or writers. I was like, wow, no one there. Wow. But anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, next, this is another one. I was like, there's no way I'll pick this one up this year. But I also, uh, this is um, Caliber Presents number one, first appearance of The Crow. This is one of the ones I wanted. I also want to get the first series of the crow and there you go james obar got to meet him in richmond a few years ago really nice guy but there we go first appearance of the crow um, huge fan of brandon lee and bruce lee uh again i've told, told people this it, brandon is really one of the ones that got me started into mixed martial arts now i'm a fat guy <laughs> But eventually I'll get back down to being a skinny guy again. But I, I had to get this. Had to get this. And I do want to get the um, the other issue as well. Uh, issue one at least from the original run. Next and last on my list. 20 plus minutes. And I'm sorry. I always take way too long on my videos. It is uh, Underworld Blood Wars number one. Got, it is signed by my girlfriend. I wish <laughs> Kate Beckinsale, AKA Celine. If you guys don't follow her on Instagram, she is hilarious. Some of the funniest posts you'll find on there. She's gorgeous and has this kind of a warped sense of humor, kind of like mine. I'm like it is awesome. And it also on the back has a picture where she actually signed the book. That's not attached to the book. That's attached to the back of the the CGC here. But also, I love this one. They they were also selling this one as well. But I like this one better. I think that is phenomenal. So that is um, some of my top pickups. Way too many of my top pickups for 2018. I may do a list for 2019, but I kind of doubt it because again, it's gonna be. A long time for i could really hit any cons or really get to going with stuff but uh that's all i got oh um keep a keep an eye out hopefully we can start doing some um some live streams some podcasting this year i've been talking to a few people 
hopefully we can get it working um you know with people's schedules and everything it's really difficult being an adult is really difficult to uh, get people together at the same time working family it's it's tough it's tough but hopefully keep an eye out for us and fingers crossed on that fingers crossed i've been talking to some guys hopefully we can get that going but that's all i got and you guys have an incredible day